vlog welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i would really appreciate it if everyone go ahead and hit the like button right now you can turn on post notifications and leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know what your favorite curly hair care product is that's what i want y'all to leave in the comment section today welcome to the vlog i'm in a really good mood um as y'all saw i did my little skincare and my um like hygiene for the morning and i'm dressed i look bummy but i'm dressed my wig ain't tied on i know i know don't come for me don't do it um so right now i'm just getting ready to run some quick errands it is like 9 33 exactly it's 9 33 and i'm getting ready to run some quick errands um i am going to do a couple of things today um but i want to hurry up and get them done before i get in the house because i have some things i also want to do in the house today and y'all today's gonna this weekend's gonna be like a chill vlog but at the same time i'm gonna be doing stuff if that makes sense like i'm not doing nothing but i'm doing stuff so yeah i just am getting ready i'm gonna go to sally's but sally's doesn't open up until 10 so that's why i just decided to sit down and like chit chat with y'all kind of like get y'all up to speed on what's going on what you can expect from this vlog <laughs> um i need to get my tire patched up i'm gonna go to walmart to do that because walmart i feel like is very affordable and they are very flexible like you can walk into walmart anytime any any day and they gonna tell you they can do it like it may take them a minute but that's understandable like the world don't stop just because you walked in the door but i think walmart is just a good choice for like simple auto care stuff like tires especially like y'all know how many times i didn't pop the tire and went right on the walmart and they fixed the same day no issue no you know so i'm gonna post my video i have a couple of small assignments due like very small like 10 question quizzes like i have two 10 question quizzes that i have to do knock that out but i was gonna come and vlog with y'all yesterday but yesterday was a super long day because i had a 10 hour, i had clinical from 8 to 4 30 then i had work from 5 to 9 um i have a lot of cleaning to do i'm gonna stop rambling though like let's just leave y'all this is what perfume i'm wearing today this is mark jacobs honey or honey mark jacobs it is discontinued, but you may be able to catch it at Ross, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls. I bought mine from Marshalls. And I got this suggestion from Mrs. Diva Like here on YouTube. Y'all know she's one of my faves. And she doesn't like it anymore, but I think she really used to like this um, perfume. I think it's nostalgic for her now, if I remember correctly. Okay, guys, so hold on, let me get a little farther away from this music so I don't get a copyright claim. But yeah, I'm just walking out of Walmart. I did not get, I like walked in and walked right out because I didn't, wasn't able to get my tire patched up, which is okay. Um, I wasn't able to get it patched up. Um, first of all, when I walked in, I felt like I wasn't gonna be able to get it patched up already because when I was like coming over to the little auto care center, like it didn't look like nobody was working like inside, like in the garage. It didn't look like nobody was working. And y'all, I think I might glue my hair, my wig down before I go to the dog park because who knows? What if I meet my husband there and he gonna see me with my wig up? Like that's just, I'm already got a hat on, no man. But he gonna meet me with my wig up? Come on now. That's what I be thinking about. Because y'all, I've been seeing Sierra's prayer. The next man I'm in love with gotta be my husband. So if I, I can't meet him with my wig up, I can't. Okay, y'all, so I got my coffee. Um, that line was long, but it's okay. Um, I got my coffee and I wanted to try, um, give you guys a little taste test. You're gonna see my first impression. I tried this recipe, well, this order from a girl on TikTok and it is what is it the girl tried to give me the wrong drink first of all and i knew it wasn't mine because for one i ordered vanilla and it was some chocolate stuff on top of it and then it was whipped cream i know i ain't ordered them with whipped cream i don't even like whipped cream like that but we got the goods this is a only thing is i really wanted a large but the way the girl on tiktok ordered it she ordered it as a medium and so i didn't know how to translate the I didn't know the conversion factors, so I didn't mess with it. So I probably only need a medium anyway. So this is a medium iced coffee with cream and two pumps of vanilla bean culotta. And let's try it. And she said, give it a good shake. It's really good. 
It's good. Y'all know the first sip of coffee don't be how it's supposed to be. You gotta go a couple sips in. And it is good. Oh, uh, Bentley gonna be mad when he go to scooters because he couldn't get a pup cup. I probably definitely don't need a large of this. Definitely. Okay. Let me get on home to the bit bit. Okay, so I am back home and I'm gonna show y'all a little mini Sally's haul. It ain't that mini though, honestly. I like my little Ray Dunn hat. I'm pretty sure I got this from Marshalls. Okay, this is some black castor oil and flaxseed eco styler gel and i use eco styler gel of course like every black girl uses it when i'm trying to sleep my ponytail down or i also have attempted whenever i'm trying to do like a twist out slash wash and go i've also attempted to use eco styler but of course my wash and go slash twist outs don't ever work out so i don't know if i'm using it wrong or if i need to use something else but i feel like when i watch natural hair care videos i've seen girls use this on like their wash and goes because wash and goes don't really ever be wash and go y'all i remember the whole reason the whole reason i went natural was for the thought of being able to wash and go and i was bamboozled because come to find out don't nobody wash and go literally nobody washes and goes i got this magic shaving powder y'all have probably seen this all over tiktok i saw this all over tiktok a while ago but i just never got it because i've never seen it but this was 249 in sally's and i'm really hoping it helped me this was a dollar 89 um it's just a little brush that i can use when i'm trying to bleach my knots for the wigs or if i ever decide to dye some hair one day i'll have a brush so the first two products i got are these silk elements um the girl on tiktok said these were good and these are y'all literally all of my opinions in life are based off of what people on tiktok say at this point but these are the silk elements advanced repair vitamin e shampoo with turmeric aloe and silk and so i got the coconut oil rejuvenating deep conditioner i love a good deep conditioner and you can't never go wrong with coconut oil so then i got this texture id styling cream girl on tiktok said these were good they don't really have a smell which that's no problem one more product i got the sauce beauty intense repair conditioner of course i probably won't use them all this weekend but i will have some to try out in the future oh i have an amazon package i want to show you guys and i didn't get too too much from amazon and honestly the stuff i got is boring <laughs> but i'm gonna show y'all anyway okay so i just towed this packaging all the way up but i got some stylus for my ipad I don't mess around with the Apple Pencil and stuff just because I'm not about spending $100 on a, literally a pen that I'm going to have to recharge. I hate having to recharge stuff. I bought a pack of nail files. I don't know how many are in here, but quite a few. And then last but not least, I got a new case for my iPad. In this case, it has like a little spot in here where I can put my little stylus. It's for an Apple Pencil, of course, but I'm sure my stylus is going to fit. And it does. Okay, you guys. So I have like the... I think I have the 2019, yeah, that sounds right. The 2019 iPad, whichever one that is. It's an iPad Air, it's not a Pro. I don't even think they make a 2019 Pro, I don't know. But this is my iPad. Oh, I think I got a rose gold iPad too. That ain't cool. Yeah, I got a rose gold iPad. I'm like, if I get a new iPad, it's gonna have to be gray because I don't like that. It's gonna be, mm -mm. But this is my iPad, so look. You guys, it's really hard to see because of the glare, but I have started designing it like real aesthetic-y. I got my widgets on there. I have a cute little wallpaper, y'all. I've had this wall, I have, I've had this iPad for two years. The whole two years I had it, I still kept it on the factory reset air wallpaper that it was that it came with. Like I have not done anything to this iPad like as far as customization. And so it's really fun going in and like designing everything. But okay, so on the side here, you see like this is pretty much similar to what I've already shown you guys. Like I have my calendar, my battery percentage, the time, a little quote, um, my, you know, a little picture. And then here I have some of those same widgets, just like in a different format. So time, 
calendar so we have battery and then we have the um, moon phases and everything and then as you guys can see i have started changing the faces to all my apps so we have maps we have voice memos um i'm trying to find things that um like or the actual face of the app but some of my apps i just went ahead and put other pictures on there just because i don't care that much like this one right here i can't read what that says right now but it doesn't have like the actual app face and i've started like changing the bottom like i told you i'm not finished so i still have to change these down here and then whoop, wrong way and i still have to change all of these apps too and so and then that's where i'm just keeping all the other apps because you still have to keep the apps on your screen once you change the face of them but like look at my little silk background and uh it's just a, such a vibe don't you agree I think this is so cute and it's going to be even better when it's like completely, completely finished. But now I can put my new co iPad cover in here. Take off that pink. Let me make sure I do this right. Oh, and you guys, I just discovered it's the actual iPad that makes the magnet. So that's why I wasn't, it wasn't clicking Steven when it was just, um, <laughs> I'm a mess. But that's why it wasn't like doing the stuff it was supposed to do when it was the iPad wasn't in here because it's the actual iPad that's magnetic. Okay, so now it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. I wish I knew somebody else who has an iPad because uh, this is a, a perfectly good case. I don't want to throw it away, but I can't do nothing with it now. And actually, I don't think my pen fits in here, honestly. It kind of do, but at the same time, it kind of don't. Because when I try to close it, like, it'll go in. It, glo it goes in all the way. But when I try to close it, it doesn't close all the way. I don't know if y'all could. Yeah. It doesn't close all the way with the pen in there. And so, I probably won't keep my pen in here. No big deal. So, yeah. That's just everything that's new in my life right now that I can think of. Um, and I am going to, y'all, Bentley been sitting here stirring holes in my face. He like, girl, I heard you say dog park earlier, but yet we're still here. So what's going on? So I'm going to get this boy to the dog park and maybe I'll get some footage while we're there. But I'll see you guys in the next clip. okay guys i am back home we had such a good time at the dog park um first of all it was such a nice dog park like it was so beautiful i would go there and sit without him <laughs> it was that's how beautiful it was like the lake was so pretty and like i don't know i just really enjoyed the scenery of it all here but bentley was being real like shy with all the dogs and i do understand it's like new kid on the block type of thing so he was being shy it took him a while to warm up and start playing but once he started playing he like started running around and it was just it made me so happy to see like him running around happy and i don't know it just really made me happy and he played by himself for a little bit which honestly i mean me too bentley me too i'll play by myself too but uh he was still playing with dogs and like running around he was running so much um he had a good time. It was just, we were out there for a long time. I wish I could remember exactly what time we left, but I know we were gone for, oh, we were there for over two hours, at least two hours, I'll say. We were there. So we are at home. Um, I'm gonna have to give him a nice, good brush and bath because like it's outside, of course. And it's like, he has all type of like seeds and stuff stuck in his fur. So he's dirty like when we first got there everybody was like oh you smell so they was talking to Bentley they're like you smell so good my dog doesn't smell this good you're so soft you're so small he stinks now his skin his, his first feels soft because he's just like that but he stinks in my opinion now I really kind of want to nap but I'm not gonna take one I'm gonna get this video uploaded and then do my little two homework assignments 
and then maybe I'll take a nap after that, but probably not. I'll probably get to doing whatever else it is I need to do. So then Sunday, tomorrow, I want to be able to um, like film a video and um, get pretty and then kind of relax. I want to be able to cook tomorrow and do all that type of stuff. So tonight, I'll probably um, kind of get some stuff done so I can you know do my normal y'all know on sundays i don't like to be bothered with nothing i don't want to do anything i'm doing on sunday is something that i bet i really better enjoy it in my soul i'll check in with y'all a little later okay so it's six o'clock now so i guess like two three and a half hours since y'all last seen me me and bentley and um i got my video uploaded this lighting is bad i'm sorry but i got my video uploaded i promoted my video like i want to promote it <coughs> the video ain't doing too hot right now but whatever and then i finished those two small assignments that i told y'all i had to do and so y'all i'm tired though and i'm hungry i've been watching youtube i just watched um nitra b on youtube her vlog i am just been getting stuff done and so tomorrow y'all tomorrow gonna be lovely because y'all know how i feel about my sundays <sighs> so yeah y'all ain't been i ain't picked up the camera in a long time because i ain't been doing nothing worth showing y'all so that's just what's been going on I got Island Daydream going in my bedroom. And then Fiji White Sands in my bathroom. I look crazy, but you guys, I've been straightening up. Um, I already finished the bathroom. That was quick and easy. I decided to pour myself a little glass of wine. I don't know why. I just felt like having a little vibe. I don't know. And I'm just drinking this really cheap. Well, it ain't that cheap. Don't do me. It ain't that cheap. It is Shannon Ridge. Um, it is a Sauvignon Blanc, but I don't mind this at all. I've gotten away from that super sweet wine. Like Stella Rosa is cool, but y'all can't do Stella Rosa. Like, first of all, who wants to have to drink a whole bottle of wine to even feel a little tip bit of a buzz? Like, no, I don't want that super sweet wine. And too many calories. Good morning, vlog. It's Sunday. Um, I'm, let me show y'all my pajama set. Well, y'all, it's 7 a.m. and um. It's 7 a.m. and I'm hurrying up getting ready. Um, I didn't come back to y'all last night. I finished my nails. I cleaned up, well, tightened up, straightened up. And then um, I also folded laundry. I didn't put the laundry up, but I folded it. But I'm rushing a little bit. Well, not rushing. I called the Walmart Auto Care because I realized it's Sunday and I wasn't quite sure if they were open Sunday. And they are. And I asked if they would be able to patch a tire. And he said, yeah. And I was just like, can I come now? He was like, that'd be perfect. So I'm trying to try to go there. And... Um, I'm going to try to go there and get my tire patched up. And then when I get, while I'm there, I'm going to do my grocery shopping. And I'm going to have a good start to the day. I was like debating on whether or not I want to go to high yoga today. But I just decided not to. I'm going to give my body my full time to rest. And I'm going to be back on the grind Monday. Oh, that did not go as expected at all. So I get there, I'm like, oh, I called about getting a tire patch. And he's like, okay, it's going to be about a three hour wait. And I'm like, three, you, first of all, I'm pretty sure it was the exact same man who I spoke to on the phone. You just told me to come now. Like, yeah, you didn't say, I mean, when I, when I, when you ask somebody, like, oh, is it okay if I come down? They're like, yeah, it'd be perfect if you came now. Perfect don't mean you're going to have to wait three hours. Like, and I was going to, like, I cannot waste time. In, like, if he would have said an hour, perfect. If he would have said two hours, I could have made something shake. But I can't waste time in, at Walmart in three hours. I just can't. And if I would have been at the different Walmart, another Walmart in town, there's one that also has an auto center, but they have like a few more shops nearby. Like that wouldn't have been ideal because then I would have ended up spending more money. But I could have at least been in the general area. That way I did, wouldn't have had to take no Uber. I'm upset I had to take an Uber home. Like that was annoying. Like yeah it wasn't that expensive because it's a five dollar it was eight dollars for a five minute ride but 
and then I'm gonna have to get back there. Y'all living in the city by yourself sucks. <laughs> With no man, no nothing. It sucks. I hate it here. But I think that man was just saying times because why he tell he tell me three hours for a tire patch. I would think if I know you can't just push everybody in front of the people who already been there, but I would think in my head if I'm a mechanic or if I'm anybody like if I know something take me 10 minutes to do, I'm just gonna get that out the way so it's one less thing on the list to do, right? That's what I would think, me personally. I'm not gonna worry about it. At least I'm gonna be able to get it done today. And in the meantime, I'm gonna try to get some work done. Cause I have some stuff I wanna do here. I wanna edit a little bit and I wanna work on a new business venture that I have going that I will tell you guys about when the time is right. If you don't already know about it by now, by the time this vlog comes out, but I want to work on that a little bit and then editing as well. Wanna get drunk in that and honestly, honestly, I'm trying to stay focused, but honestly, that was a waste of time. Well, I won't say a waste of time, but it was a waste of Uber, Uber money, in fact. It was a waste of about $16 in Ubers, is what it was. So, he said he could not find anything wrong with the tire, which is good. I mean, that's good. Even though it was only going to cost me, they were only going to charge me $15 to plug it, but um, or patch it, whatever they call it, repair, whatever. It was only going to charge me $15, so... But um, I guess it's $15 I don't have to spend um, while I was there. Cause I like did work for like two hours. I got some stuff done. I'm so excited. I made some um, advancements with my business. Um, but so I did that while I was waiting. And then like, I did that for like two hours. He told me it was gonna be three hours. So for the last hour, I just came and grocery shopped. And by the time I finished grocery shopping, they was like just about done with the car anyway. So it worked out perfectly. So like I said, I didn't technically waste time because I got done things that I wanted to get done today anyway. And so no time was wasted really, honestly. I'm going to go home and get this food put away. And then after I get the food put away, me and Bentley are going to go to the park, which this will be a good time anyway, because I feel like when I was, when we were going to go earlier, when I was thinking we were going to go, it was going to be like 9 o'clock. I don't know if nobody was going to be there at 9 o'clock on a Sunday anyway. So this will probably be better for his socialization anyway. Hey, Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> back from the dog park Woo, child but we're back and had a good time again today it wasn't as many people today but Bentley still had a good time I had a good time Bentley met a little friend his name Bruce Bruce was getting a little rowdy with Bentley though Bruce was like Bruce was a puppy but he was like biting on Bentley ear biting on Bentley neck like not I'm not gonna say biting he was putting his mouth on Bentley a lot. And it kind of scared me a little bit, but I know dogs play like that. And Bentley wasn't like scared or anything. Bentley was giving it right back to him. So, but I was like right there. I kept watching him because like, I know like things could go awry at any second. Ooh, yeah, my hair getting long. I cannot wait. Um, well, I can wait. But I'm excited to see what my length is going to look like when I do my next, like, silk press and trim. I want to get a nice trim, too. But enough of the rambling. Let me get to the makeup. Okay, y'all. So my hair and makeup is done. I did take my pictures. I was a little nervous about my makeup because in the middle of me doing my makeup, like, I had finished my eyeshadow and everything. I remembered that my hair is colored. And when I do colored hair... I try to tone down both my outfit and my makeup. Oh, I need to hurry up and film. This lighting is really good. I'm going to hurry up and say this. But I try to usually have really neutral makeup and outfit. As y'all can see, I have on black. And so I really was like, dang, I messed up with this eyeshadow. But it was already on. And then when I put my wig on, it does actually look pretty good. So I'm not mad at that at all. I took pictures. Now I'm going to have... Now I'm about to, I'm talking so fast because I'm trying to hurry up. I did not realize this lighting was this good right now. I got to go. 
but I need to hurry up and make my bed and set my little filming background area up and then I'm going to start filming and I'm almost and then I'll be done it's like what time is it it's 4 37 so I'm right on track because it's not gonna take me an hour to do this video so I'll be done before 5 30 so let me hurry up okay y'all it's quite a bit later I can't even really remember the last time I seen y'all saw y'all excuse me but um what's going on i was on the phone with my fam bam for a long time we were on a big group facetime <sighs> and while doing that i deep con i made my deep conditioner and put it on my hair and i'm about to yeah i'm getting tired and it's only 6 45 but i'm tired but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push through and clean my room. That's the last thing I got to do today. It's been a really, really good weekend. I've really enjoyed my weekend. And then I'm off next weekend too, so that's good. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog out just because I feel like I'm not going to remember to do it later. So with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it wasn't like an exciting vlog. Like, oh, she did. A, she went she went to Miami in this vlog. It wasn't like that. But it also wasn't like super boring. Like I, I went out the house multiple times each day. I did stuff, you know, I feel like y'all this was a this was a pretty good vlog i really enjoy vlogging too so i hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs as well y'all always catch me on the wrong weekends though like the weekend before last i had a very eventful weekend like i went <clears throat> i went i had like a big brunch like i had a very eventful weekend the weekend before last and then the next weekend so last weekend I guess I didn't do anything on the actual weekend, but I was turned up Thursday and Friday. So, like, y'all just be catching me on the wrong weeks. Like, I promise I'm not an antisocial dweeb. Well, I kind of am. But if you make it to the end of this video, go ahead and leave me the black heart. If you make it to the end of this video, leave me a black heart. I'm saying a black heart because I have on a black shirt. And I want to switch it up from the diamond emoji. So if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a black heart. I love you for making it to the end of this video. And I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Turn on the post notification bell. Y'all know the drill. Do it all. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.